Bookworms. This is your friend Paper Nerd and I have a little bit of an out of the ordinary book that I will be reviewing out of the ordinary because it is not only a true story but is it is also a historic story. Uh, historic in the sense of it didn't make it into the history books because this is a rather well, for the time back then, a very scandalous story. And uh, I'm not sure if it would be that scandalous on the one side in these days. But then on the other hand, uh, there is one certain part which would make it very scandalous. So here we go. I will review the book Emmeline by Judith Rosner for you today. Uh, get your tissues ready because this is a very sad, sad story from over a hundred years ago. So let's delve right into it. So uh, Emmeline is a daughter born to a farmer or farmer's family and uh, one day, and that is like over a hundred years ago again. So one day her aunt and her uncle out of the big big uh, city they're coming for a visit and uh, the aunt is suggesting since the farm is very 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 poor they have hardly anything to eat so the aunt is su suggesting to for emmeline to be shipped into the city as well and work in a factory um, back in those days, that was kind of the thing what people did. If there was nothing in the country and people were starving and, you know, there was uh, on a farm, there was not much to harvest, um, then somebody had to go to the city and make the bigger bucks to keep the whole family and the whole farm afloat. So Emmeline is a very young girl and she is going with her and to the city. I think she was like 14 years then, 13 years, something like that. Or maybe she was even 12 and they had to lie because they wouldn't take her that young in a factory. The factory she was working at was uh, had to do with textiles, with weaving. And... Um, so she went there. She pretty much got dropped off from her and an uncle um, by the factory. And she went into a boarding house where the lady of the house had all of those girls, all young girls who were working in factories. However, um, Emmeline was some, something of a looker, I guess. And... Um, Pretty soon, um, she her boss took a little shine to her. And you can imagine what happened after a while. Of course, I can't give the whole story away. But our dear Emmeline fell pregnant. And so she stayed there for one or two years, but she had to... Well, she gave birth to her child and then went home to the farm again. And uh, it was very embarrassing, of course, uh, to have an unwed mother back home. But still, everybody was happy. She was back at home and life went on. Emmeline was never really interested in any man because she was uh, still in love with her former boss. And uh, one day, a young man comes to the farm and befriends her, and he wants to marry her. And, uh, and here is where I have to end the story, because Emmeline is running into a real big problem there with the man she is marrying. And uh, there's a big scandal about this. The scandal is... Um, bringing her to that even her father will hate her and her siblings and nobody has really compassion for her after she got married and I'm not gonna give that story away 
However, it was a very interesting story. It was, I mean, it, it kept my attention. And that's something big to say. <laughs> um, the story went over the years. There, There is actually people who, uh, still in the 70s, um, somebody knew her personally when she was a child. So we are talking about back then in the days when we had industrialism in bloom where young women and also men were sent off from home to make the big bucks in the city and send them home to the farms to their poor uh, parents and siblings. So if you are at all a little bit interested in history like that around that time, I would say when was the industrialism, when, when was that really uh, floating up? That must have been around the maybe 1920s, maybe a little bit earlier. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed this book a lot. However, it does make you cry. Uh, there's things going on the... I mean, there, there would be no question um, to this. I mean, today there would be no question that it wouldn't be shameful. I mean, there's so many people who have, uh, who are single, who have, you know, a child out of wedlock. I mean, that's nothing new anymore and it's not something embarrassing. But back then, uh, that wasn't the only embarrassing thing that happened with Emmeline's life. Um, it is really a big cry fest, so get ready. So if you like to read something really truly historic, a true story from back then, then uh, go ahead and get yourself a copy of Emmeline by Judith Rosner. I give it four stars um, just because there are some, sometimes, you know, I'm not... It's not a romance, so to speak, but there is romance in it. And I, I'm just more into, well, you, you all know me. I'm more into the suspense and to the, you know, uh, mystery and stuff like that. So um, that's why I gave it four stars. I mean, it, it kept my attention, but it, it didn't um, make my heart beat and look in every dark corner. Uh, so it wasn't scary, <laughs> let's say it this way. But it was very, very, a very interesting book. So I would recommend it. Uh, yeah, get yourself a copy of Emmeline by Judith Rosner. Also, please uh, look underneath this video. I have two um, links to YouTube videos who tell you a little bit more about Emmeline. Um, I watched them all. I watched anything. When I, f uh, when I stumbled over the first video that's listed below, I had to watch everything about that. It was just intriguing. and uh, But still, I wanted to read the book because it is so much more in detail. Um, yeah, I liked it. Go get yourself a copy. And do not forget a big, big box of clean it, uh, Kleenex. Kleenex. Oh my God, I can't even say it. Kleenex. Lots of Kleenex. That's what you need. So without that, I don't think you can make it through the book. <laughs> okay, you all have a great rest of your day. And i see you some other time. Goodbye.